What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my video. It's your girl, Kiara Lynn. And as y'all can tell by the title, I'm giving y'all a one month update on the growth of my hair from the back and the crown for the ones that do not know. My locks had fell out um, a year ago and I was waiting to see some growth and it hasn't happened. And I was basically explaining like what I thought was the reason. If y'all wanna see that video, it's the, my last previous video. Um, but yeah, uh, for this video, I'm giving y'all a month update on basically what's been going on, if I've been seeing any improvements, any changes, um, if I'm seeing any type of growth. And yeah, so let's just get into it. I mean, it's not really, this video is not gonna be long because it's not really too much to be said, but I still got some things to say, okay? Because y'all, I'm kind of happy with my results a little bit, okay? Um, but first, let me say, I want to thank you guys for reassuring me that it is not alopecia, because if it was, it would um, it would uh, be more of a patchiness, and you'll be able to see the scalp. So I want to thank y'all for reassuring me that it was it wasn't alopecia, because like I said. Um, I did not know what was going on and I did just run to Google and I wasn't trying to believe the first thing that I read but you know that is what had popped up and that's what I thought well um, that's what I thought probably was the reason um due to it not growing and stuff like that and the itchiness and everything now I don't think that it's alopecia um but I do believe I still do have some type of um scalp scalp condition um I just don't know what it is but I do plan on seeing a um trichologist a lot, uh, a lot of y'all was uh, suggesting that I get a consultation and I do plan on getting a consultation because I do want um somebody just to look at the the healthiness of my locks and stuff like that because like like I said I have been the only one that's been in my head like I never really go to get my hair done stuff like that and with my locks um I do my own self maintenance I do my own uh reties so yeah I, I haven't really been to see anybody to just tell me like what I need to do with my hair what I shouldn't be doing so I do plan on seeing a trichologist um so yeah I want to thank y'all for giving me uh those suggestions I really love y'all because y'all your girl was going through it because I'm thinking like y'all I don't know what's going on with my hair but yeah, thank y'all for suggesting that. And um, yeah, let's just get into what I have been doing differently, okay? So let me just start off by saying, I don't really experience that much itchiness no more, y'all. And I am so happy. Um, like, I really don't experience itchiness. I don't pat my head. And the reason why, at least the reason why I believe I don't experience is because I have changed the way that I use my products. Big Daddy! Uh, hold on y'all, but that it is home and I gotta go greet my man real quick. So hold on y'all. <laughs> All right, you guys. So yeah, um, basically I want to say that I am not experiencing the issueness like I was um, uh, experiencing beforehand. Y'all, my head is not itching. Like I haven't scratched my head. I haven't patted my head or anything like that. Like the itchiness is gone. And what I've done differently was use um, different products to oil my scalp and I wanted to really use products that had real ingredients okay because I think that's what I was doing wrong um the, the the products that I was using in my hair like I don't think it was um real like products like real oil like it will say castor oil but is it really castor oil um it could say it's tea tree oil but is it really tea tree oil then it probably have a little bit of tea tree but it's not pure and then y'all add they add other stuff and other dyes and fragrance and stuff like that all of that was causing a reaction to my scalp okay y'all to the point where like my hair was just itching all the time even though i was putting those oils on there thinking that you know maybe my hair is not getting oily like you know getting moisturized and penetrated enough but really it was really just a product so i want i just want to say when y'all getting um products and oils for your hair please read the ingredients okay make sure that it is pure like everything is natural um i'm gonna show y'all the products that i'm using now um, but yeah, just make sure y'all reading y'all ingredients in there. Okay. Don't just be buying things inside of the, um, 
inside of the beauty supply store because it's cheap and stuff like that no invest in your products y'all like that's what i want to say tip number one when it comes to micro locks and if you experience it what i was experienced with the itchiness and it wasn't like stopping and you feel like your hair wasn't growing and stuff like that invest in better products okay and y'all it only been a month and I, I i have not experienced itchiness so clearly that tells you that it was a product i stopped i stopped using those products and started using things that um was natural and it worked so i'm about to show y'all products that i am using now um i do use a couple of different things but i'm using these consist consistently i'm not switching up my products like if one runs out i'm gonna go buy a different brand and hope that works no i'm sticking with the brands that i know work best for my hair and y'all i don't know if y'all can see but my hair is growing not in the in this part but like my other part of my hair is like really growing like y'all okay y'all see this new growth and i know i need to retie y'all and that's another thing i'm gonna show y'all uh, i'll tell y'all that i have been doing um differently is that i've been waiting to do my um retires y'all okay um i'm retwisting my hair sometimes um i'm not always retying it just because i get a little new growth no like i retie i, I do a retwist um with with this product this is let me uh, get this in a focus this is the lock and be retwist i also use this on um rose hair and y'all i really like this um retwist brand i feel like it's not cakey um the ingredients uh it it is we still gotta work on the ingredients a little bit but um for right now this is what what i have been using and it's not really a whole bunch of ingredients in there but there is there is some things in here that i don't know what it is and i hope that you know it doesn't cause a reaction in my head but when i use this i don't i don't experience um itchiness so yeah uh i do like this this brand and it, like i said it's not flaky um it does it is thick but it's not too thick where it's like um like that like, like that sticky like you know flaky stuff like it's not like that like it don't it don't feel like that so i really like that um whenever i do like a uh, retwist so that way i don't always have to do um reties but yeah um uh let's get into the oils that i'm using so i'm gonna get into the number one oil that i feel like everybody should use um and i feel like this has a hundred percent natural ingredients y'all when i say a hundred percent a hundred percent and this is the the wild growth hair oil and y'all y'all know this bottle everybody and their mama should know this bottle um yes this bottle i feel this this it, it's a little pricey but i mean is it pricey i don't even know how much i spent on this i got this on um amazon i did not get this from the beauty supply store i got it from amazon um but i'm about to read some of the ingredients because y'all these are natural ingredients okay oils of coconut olive oil rice uh, rice uh bran uh cocoa butter um pomegranate rose hip pumpkin seeds uh we got mushroom we got chickpeas we got lentil we got cocoa um we got sesame seeds we got essential oils of sage eucalyptus fr uh, frankenstein lavender um yeah like and that's it the peppermint that that is literally all that's in here and y'all this is my top one like this is my favorite one of all okay yeah you, you, you want to go get this okay so that's one another thing that i feel like you all should be using is this okay um this is what is this brand mine botanicals this is turmeric turmeric and neem hair pomade um this stuff right here my mama had some of this in her bathroom and when i tell y'all i was sneaking this because i knew that this was gonna be the this 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 right here this is the goat okay if you are experiencing itchiness this is anti-inflammatory y'all antibacterial all natural okay it has shea butter turmeric neem oil neem oil is really good for your hair and getting all that antibacterial and like fungi and like especially if you have locks i would suggest using neem oil and it does help with uh hair growth as well um organic uh, 
oregano oil, coconut oil, Jehovah oil, vitamin E oil, um, uh, aloe vera oil, grape seed, avocado oil, olive oil, and beeswax and some essential oil blends and y'all natural products when i tell y'all what i do is i really just use this for the part of my hair where um i know uh i have my um where i was experiencing the itchiness i just did a little bit on here on my fingertips and i just rub it in here okay just rub it in there okay and to be honest y'all oof it smells so good too okay this is number two for me, okay? Number two, okay? Y'all wanna get this. Um, I don't know, this is this is at my nearest beauty supply store. Um, and I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can find it online and I'm gonna um, put the links in, but y'all, this company is, y'all have literally helped me so much with my itchiness because I really, really needed this. Um, so yeah, y'all, y'all need to invest in this product for real, for real. Okay. Um, another thing that I use is the Miele almond oil, mint almond oil. This is for moisture, uh, just the moisture of my locks. I only put this on my locks. I really don't put this on my scalp too much, even though it does have natural ingredients. It has sweet almond oil it has soybean oil and peppermint oil and that is it and y'all this this smells so good okay i can just smell it mm. oh it smells good y'all i really like this so yeah um i use this only on my hair strands with some coconut oil and yeah i love that um and y'all i don't always use these products often um, but yeah, just when I whenever I need to, okay. Now another product that I do use is um, Bees Organic Jamaican Gold Castor Oil. This is basically hair food, scalp food. Okay, these are vitamin E's, vitamin D's. Um, yeah, they got some B5s in there. Uh, yeah, natural products is, yeah, vitamin E, vitamin D, B5s. Yeah, the, this is basically hair vitamins, okay? The way we put vitamins inside of our bodies, we can put it on our scalps too. So, yeah, this is another product that I use. Like I said, all natural. Let me give y'all a little close-up of it, okay? And, of course, everybody knows the famous Miele rosemary mint scalp and strengthening oil everybody knows this like if you're not putting this in your hair i don't know why y'all not like, another thing y'all i still have not seen any length growth in a month but that is cool like i said it's a month that's cool but it's thicker the middle part is thicker so i know that it's doing something so i'm gonna just show y'all what it looks like in the middle y'all please don't roast me i know i look like george jefferson with the hair on the side and just balls just going right here okay but just look it's thicker than what it was before i feel like and this right here hold on let me show y'all this wasn't as long i feel like i could really lock this up but i'm not going to i'm gonna just let it uh you know grow some more but yeah um uh, i'm about to give myself a retie now uh because yeah i'm definitely overdue for one now because um i have a really long new growth um so like i said i'm investing in better products i'm not retiring as often um and y'all even though i love my three-point rotations I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. Okay, y'all. I love my three-point rotations, but in order to ensure that I am making sure I am uh, not putting too much tension on my hair, because I don't, because I'm not sure how it's going to react if I, you know, do a three-point rotation once it does grow back. So yeah, I'm just gonna let go of the three-point rotation and stick with two. Even though wait, but my back, the back, I'm still using three because. Yeah, I'm still using three for my back. But everything else, I'm going to do two. Especially the crown of my head. I'm using two um, point rotations. And yeah, and uh, we're just going to we, we gonna see what's going on. We're going to see what this journey is about. But like I said, this hair update, like, 
in a month y'all i have been feeling so much better um i have not been experiencing no itchiness and yeah y'all it was really just the products clearly um but yeah i'm about to see how like you know how like the middle part grows and everything like that and i'm gonna keep y'all updated and everything else but I thank y'all for watching this video um if y'all want to try these products that i showed y'all i'm going to uh put the link down below if i could find it um if not like i said try and look inside of your local beauty supply store and i'm pretty sure most local beauty supply stores do have uh natural hair care sections um if not go to another beauty supply store but um yeah y'all this is the end of my video i am so happy with my results and i thank you guys for continuing to give me support on this journey the only thing i can do is work on it baby and do better with my products do better with um uh you know just maintaining my hair i'll probably come back in another month to see if you know i'll get another a little uh some little growth in the back or something like that but i will say it is getting thicker and y'all i am happy because your girl is sweating up in this bathroom and i'm about to go y'all bye <laughs>